Welcome to the sixth and final episode in this tutorial series where we're creating a beat-em-up game in Scratch. And in this video, we're going to be adding levels to our game and adding a windscreen. So, let's get started. So to begin um, this video, we're going to move on to our game manager and we're going to create um, level one first. Um, and in our first level, we're only going to have the weak um, enemies in the game. We're going to be adding the baby zombie, the mushroom, and the bat, just so that the player gets used to, um, you know, the controls and doesn't have a hard challenge at the beginning of the game. So the first um, enemy is going to be at negative 110, and it's going to be a baby zombie. And then we're going to make um, the next one a baby zombie as well. And it's going to be at negative 100 and the next one is going to be a mushroom and set that to negative 70 and after that we can have a bat and we'll set this to negative 20 and then we can we'll add another bat so we can keep this on the same and make this 30 and then we'll add a mushroom and make that 100 and then we'll add at position 140 um, a baby zombie and then we'll add just duplicate this and we'll make this 200 and we'll make it a normal zombie let's add a challenge towards the end of the game and then we'll duplicate this one more time and set this to be a 250 another zombie and then you don't have to wait at the end um so that's level one created now we can just test it <laughs> Once the game ends, you're just able to walk until until the end, and that's not what we want. What we want is um, towards the end, we'll, we want a flag that sends you off to the next level. So let's create that flag. And to create it, we're going to um, upload a flag, and there's a link for this in the description. And we'll just open this and go to costumes. And you can choose whatever um, color you want for the flag. I'm just going to be choosing green. So select this, select um, here, and delete the other um, the other sprites. And we're going to call this flag. Now we have to code our flag. And we'll start with um, when flag is clicked. Um, let's go here. When flag is clicked, we're going to set X. Oh, we're going to have to create um, variables. So for this sprite only X and for this sprite only Y. Um, and then we'll say X equals to 258. 258 and then we'll just set Y. Let's scroll in and set Y to 0. And then we're going to have it go to the front layer. And we'll say forever. And then go to my blocks and create a brand new block called position and then we'll set that to okay and position and then we're going to define position by saying um, set X and then we'll set it to um, in operators um, grab the minus operator and go to variables and select X minus cam X and we want to hide all these other variables so that it's not just the game. And then we'll say if, um, we'll say if, um, and then go to operators and go to the equals to operator. And if, um, and then we'll go to round X position equals to, and then go back to operators and select round and then just duplicate this x minus cam x 
um, and then we'll say in looks show hide. So let's make this an if and else state. Um, if and else statement. Take this here. Move this here. And if it's in our vision, we'll show it. And if not, we hide it. And then we just have to add one more thing, which is a bit of a longer script. Um, we'll say when flag is clicked. We'll then say forever. If touching. Um, so let's go to sensing and select touching player. Then we'll look what the level is. So we say if. And then go to operators and select equals to. And we need a brand new variable and we'll call it level for all sprites. And we'll say if level equals to one, and we just hide it. And then we'll also look, um, go to sensing, grab the touching and grab the if statement. And we'll say if touching um, player, then we'll broadcast where is the broadcast right here and we'll broadcast level two so after that we just need to um set the level to level two so set um level to two and then we need to wait one second so that we're not um constantly changing the level because we need time so that the player can reset his position so now we just duplicate this and actually duplicate the level block and put it right under there. And we'll set this to two and then duplicate, put that under there, um, right here, and then set that to three and duplicate. So put all of them under the if statement and set this to four and duplicate and set that to five. Okay, now we'll set this to broadcast level three. Set this to broadcast level four. And set this to broadcast level five. Okay, now that we've done this, we can set this to set this to level three. Set this to level four and set this to level five and now we're done with this we just need to do one more thing and here we remove this and broadcast level um not level five but instead we'll broadcast a new message called win game and then we're going to stop all okay so now that we're done with all of this we'll actually no 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 if we set this to level two and broadcast level three. Oh, okay. So if it equals to level four, broadcast level five. Oh, okay. Actually, no, no, no. I think five levels would be too much for this game. Yeah, five levels would be too much for the game. So let's remove this and set this to broadcast to win game. Okay, so we'll end at level four. Um, now that we're done with this, um, we just need to add a few more backdrops to our game. So go to your background and costume and the link for these backgrounds are in the description, but you should already have them. Um, and we'll go to city two and we're going to add city to pale. And then just make sure that it's right under city one. And then we're going to upload city three pale. So go to PNG city three pale and put that under here and then upload the final one being city four. Um, this will be pale as well. So now we have all our levels in the game. Okay, now that we're done adding these backgrounds, um, we have to put this here. I'm now going to show you how to um, create actual levels um, with the game. So if we go to our game manager and go to our code, um, just a reminder of how this works. Um, this enemy X position determines the position of the determines the position of the enemy. So negative 110. Um, the more negative it is, the more left it's going to be. Um, and the more positive it is, the more right. Um, to the right it's going to be. So we just set like the harder enemies further furthest from the player. Um, as you see here, so this is position 140, and that's where you're going to find the enemy in the game. So what I'll do is I'll create level 2, 3, and 4 
um, but what I would encourage you to do is um, create your own levels. So I'm just going to speed past this and you can create your own levels using um, whatever combination of enemies you would like. Um, but just take into consideration, of course, the difficulty of enemies. So it would be best to put, you know, the easy enemies first and the strong enemies towards the end of the game. But have a blessed it and be creative. So this is how my levels are going to end up like. And that's the end of my levels. So I've created this. Um, you can just pause the video if you want to copy this exact level, if you would like hear how they look. Um, now that's the end of um, creating the levels, like I just said. Um, now we need to create a you win screen because you would notice that if you actually try to beat the game, there's no way to actually win it. Um, but what so what we'll end up doing is going to the costumes and we'll just duplicate this and change this to um, windscreen windscreen and then Go to text and we can't I, I believe there might be a way to edit the text uh, You might be able to edit the text, but um, unfortunately I can't um, So what I'll do is just select um, select this and we can keep the press flag to restart um changes to white and text and change it to red and then we'll just use the handwriting text and say you win exclamation mark actually now use the same text that i used for the you lose which was curly yeah curly and then just increase this put it in the center and yeah that looks about right now we can go to our code and we'll create the code for the win 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 screen so all we need to do is say when i receive win game we want the thing to show and then we'll switch the costume to win game and go to front layer Um, one thing that you should do is um, change this to 358 um, and the Y should be not zero but um, the Y should be negative 87 so let's change that to negative 87 and actually make it a bit lower yeah, just negative 95. Okay. And after you've changed this, you need to um, set um, when game begins, you need to set the level um, variable to one. And the next thing we need to do is go to our player and select this, duplicate this, and set this to level two, um, level three, and level four. So now, and then after that, we'll go to our background and We'll do about the same thing, um, but instead we'll look um, right here um, where we say set costume to costume number. Um, instead of that, we'll say um, when I receive level one, level two, level three. And level four, we want to switch the costume to um, its appropriate level. So we'll just um, switch costume to city one, switch costume to city two, switch costume to city three, switch costume to city four. And we'll just set the Y, this one to 70, um, set this one to 80, um, set this one to 110, and then set this one to 70. Now let's test the game.
so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and learned um please stay tuned for i mean please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next farm tutorial series um and, and until then peace